All right, so here we are again. It is Hello Again Wednesday. This is Hello Again Wednesday number 20. Got some new intro music to Hello Again Wednesday. And so I just, it's a royalty free music. And so I want to big, give a big old shout out to, uh, <laughs> oh, excuse me, to, uh, got that music from, Fesslian Studios. A big thank you to Fesslian Studios for the opportunity to download free royalty music uh, just to kind of help with some intro music to Hello Again Wednesday. I hope you like it. Um, uh, go ahead and leave a comment. Hey, Brent, I want to hear something different. Uh, and so I'll see what I can do. I'm not set in stone, but boy, I sure like this one. It is called um, I'll Fly, I think is what it is, or To Fly. And it is from Fesslian Studios. So, hope you guys are having a great week. I try to make sure that I do this uh, Hello Again Wednesday thing every Wednesday. So, make sure you follow my page uh, or check it out at Culver City Church of God uh, YouTube channel. And uh, see uh, what I'm doing. And by that, I mean, go ahead and follow, like, get those notifications. And that actually, you're going to probably be more like, oh, Brent is at it again. Hello again, Wednesday. This is number 20. This week, I just like every week, I wonder, okay, what should I do for um, the hello again segment? And uh, what, what was truly popping in my head last night or in a dream? I can't remember which, but last night. Uh, sometime something really cool popped in my head. I thought in, in my head, I'm like, wow, that's really funny. It's really cool. Can't wait to do it. Um, and I always think that I should write it down and I didn't, or if I did, I can't remember where I wrote it down at. And so that funny thing was gone. So then this morning, I'm like, okay, what should I, what should I do for uh hello again Wednesday? And this is what popped into my head. I had something that I had to do. So it connects. This week, I'm going to talk about hand-me-downs. Or um, if you say it fast like I usually say it, because sometimes I talk way too fast. But if you say it fast like me, it's hand-me-downs. Ham-me-downs. Ham-me-downs. Like in ham sandwiches. It's not the first time I've ever said anything wrong. Um, uh, Word-wise, uh, every once in a while, Connie reminds me that it is ready. Wash. W-A-S-H, and I usually am speaking so fast, it's wash, I got a wash, um, and she hears it all the time. Uh, this week coming up is Easter week, and that's where you have Palm Sunday this Sunday, and a lot of times there's uh, Monday, Thursday, and with communion in church or foot washing services, and, uh, and we're not, you know, because of the pandemic and stuff, we've altered that stuff, but I will be uh, announcing stuff like that or uh, if you're going to wash your hands or anything like that. Um, and so I usually say the word wash. And so Connie reminds me that is not how you say it. W-A-R-S-H is not really a word. So reason being, though, talking about these hamming downs is that uh, we decided that we were going to invest as a family into a new side-by-side -side refrigerator this week. And so when we make these decisions, it is like this. Well, there goes all the money that you've ever saved for the moment. <laughs> and because refrigerators ain't cheap. And so we still went out and did it and bought us a new side-by-side -side, uh, refrigerator. Uh, and so that means one thing. What do you do with the older refrigerator? Well, here at um, at the church, which I'm in my office and, uh, here at the church, uh, what took place last year is we have two refrigerators in our kitchen for, our, uh, a lot of the ministries that we do down there. We have, so we have two refrigerators and last year one went bad. And so it's still been down there. And when our refrigerator went, uh, uh well, we, when we decided to buy this new refrigerator, it's like, well, what do we do with this old one? Well, of course it's a hand-me-down. So, I take the old refrigerator out and uh, um, take the newer old refrigerator and replace it with the hand-me-down. As I'm getting ready to do that, Connie is reminding me also this, make sure that refrigerator is clean. 
And uh, you know what? With grandkids getting their own stuff out of the refrigerator, ay, yay, ay, yay, ay, yay. Ay. And so it brings me to this. It is. It actually is clean. I did get it clean. But you know what? You should never um, give a hand-me-down to a perfectionist or one who is rarely or if ever perfect, which means, man, I spent a lot of time looking and looking and scrubbing and scrubbing. And uh, yes, that refrigerator is now clean. Okay, so I'm going to joke around for just a few minutes. Bear with me. On hand-me-downs. You know who, I'm not telling jokes, I'm going to joke around. You know who doesn't get hand-me-downs? The oldest. Swing! That's me. I'm the oldest in uh, in the family. And with that, I did not get hand-me-downs. Not that I remember of getting ever hand-me-downs as the oldest. The thing was, I can't take too much pride in it because Trent, uh, he was a year and a month younger than me and we kind of at some at a very young age we were like side by side uh in size and stuff so there was no real hand-me-downs to trent he he got new stuff if i got new stuff or whatever and uh so then that's how the hand-me-down situation went now i will say this that the my uh, i have two sisters one's uh, 15 years younger than me and one is 11 years younger than me and uh, you can do the math for trent and so they probably every once in a while went and snagged some of his some of his T-shirts. Not really a hand-me-down, more of just snagging his stuff. More joking around. So yesterday, I was uh, see my week is pretty busy. I, I mean, I got things uh, just packed, and with it, yesterday I had a bunch of st- I mean a ton of stuff to do in the morning. And so I'm doing all this stuff. And at the same time, I'm saying, I only have so much time because I have a 12 p.m. Meet, Zoom meeting in my office. And it's going to, and those are always hours long. I usually have two a month. Um, um, and so I had my second one this month. And so yesterday at 12 o'clock, I had, uh, you know, it was a three hour meeting, but I, and I knew it was coming. So I'm trying to hurry up. And at 1130, I'm like, I have got to get up to my office. Not just for that Zoom meeting, which I still had to prep for that because I'm actually a chairperson on, on in that meeting. And I'm the one that's, that's opening up the Zoom meeting. And so I had to get up there for that. But on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays with the pandemic, um, our church has decided to help some of, of the people within our church that used to go to the library and use their laptops and computers to um, check out uh, uh, news articles or whatever, to email family and friends, um, to just uh, browse through the internet or whatever at the library. Well, because of the pandemic, the library here in Southern California has been closed. And so for our church people, um, it just, one day there was conversation, they can't do this stuff. So it's like, man, we got to help these people talk to their families. So we began to... um, lay out laptops. Now this meant more work, but it's okay. This is what you do. You help people within your community. And so what took place is we began to make sure the laptops were clean, make sure there was enough uh, uh, ability to have cords stretched far without being um, uh, where you walked over them. They were they were in the middle of this, this table circle, uh, horseshoe thing or whatever. And so there was distanced uh, clean laptops and stuff where people could come in and they could use it, come and go as you please for a couple of hours um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And so I had to set that up for them. And it's not just about the laptops and the internet because they also enjoyed, this is what you can't do in the library, conversation, to just sit down and talk. And and uh, I think some of them really enjoyed the fact that it wasn't just uh, me because I'm the pastor coming in and, and preaching or whatever. I mean, I would sit down and they let's just talk and have a good time. And uh, so we were doing that. And so I had to prep that so that when I was in my meeting, that they could come in and, and still uh, participate with that. And then I would shoot down at the end of the meeting. And so my day was pretty busy. I did make all of that happen. I was able to open up my meeting. And as we are talking in our meeting, here's my joking around. I, I, it dawned on me at noon 
that I had not eaten breakfast and I had not eaten lunch ahead of my, of my meeting. And I was actually starving and I had snagged at one point in time, some jelly beans. And so I was like, Oh man, sugar rush. And so I'm getting these jelly beans and as people are coming into the zoom meeting, there's just a few of us. I started joking around. I go, now I'm going to make a political joke, but it's just kind of, you know, slight. And so it was, man, I, and I told him about not eating breakfast or lunch and stuff. I said, but I have these jelly beans. So I'll, during the meeting, I'm probably going to be eating some jelly beans just to kind of keep going. You know, it reminds me of ready. Wasn't it Ronald Reagan? So I was trying to be all distinguished. Wasn't it Ronald Reagan, the president of the United States of America? a Republican that had jelly beans on his desk and a buddy of mine. See, it was pastors that was in these meetings, this meeting, this pastor buddy of mine uh, from uh, deeper South fr from us uh, down in the homeland area. He goes, well, usually when I make jokes around the kind of politics or something, I make sure that I, I emphasize both sides. So no one gets offended. I go, Oh yeah, really? Well, Hey, my dad in the military, when I was a kid in high school, or just before high school, we went down to Georgia, lived in Georgia for a year and a half. And guess what? I like peanuts. So that reminds me of, ready, the other side, Democrat President Jimmy Carter. Okay, there you go. Dry humor, again, kind of carrying over from last week. I hope each and every one of you have a great, great Wednesday. You know what? Check out a church near you. See what they're doing. Hang out with them. Just be a part of them. If they're having a Bible study, hang out with that. Our Bi We're having a Bible study today in just a few hours. Um, our Pastor Mark, he's leading us through the book of, of Matthew. Ours is at 4 p.m. Pacific time. If you would like to join us, if you don't have a place to go to and you'd like to join us, go ahead and hook up with us. Um, let, uh, hook up with me and I will get you a Zoom link to that Bible study at 4 p.m. Pacific time here. Have a great Wednesday, a great week. I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday on Hello Again Wednesday.